Welcome back to another tutorial. Scene is prepared, so let's get started. At the beginning, create a new material. I'll call it printed material because it will look like a half tone print. First of all, add texture coordinate node and use window output. Then, add vector math node and change it into fraction. Nothing happened because the value now is 1. To get more fractions, a higher value is needed. Therefore, use the multiply node. You can see how the whole window is divided into small parts. To control this dividing, use the combine XYZ node and plug value node into it. To get square fractions, divide x by y and set no to multiply. In this case, it is 920 divided by 1080. Now let's make dots out of these cells. For that, use vector math node and set it to distance. Dots appear in the bottom left corner because there is zero value for x and y axis. To move dot into the middle, set x and y value to 0.5. Now, as you can see, center of the coordinates is where I need it. Now, add math node and set it to greater than. It uses values between 0 and 1. Everything under defined value will stay black and everything above will be white. Because our dots are linear, we can control their size with this node. Use any shader node to determine the value that each dot will have. I will use Principled BSDF and since I want to use this shader as a value, it is necessary to convert it. For this, use shader to RGB node. You can see where the shadow is, value is lower, so dots there are smaller. Oppose it on the bright areas. Because of that, we have to invert those values to get larger dots in shadow areas. I just make dot smaller to better see what is happening. For controlling lightness, add two math nodes and set one of them to multiply and second one to power. This is our basic halftone shader, but let's improve it a little bit. In order to achieve a realistic print material, it's essential to use the colors used for printing. These are cyan, magenta, yellow and black. These colors are mixed when printing. Are you a busy person? Don't have time to watch tutorials? You can visit my site on Blender Market and buy already created material for Blender here. It is the same material I will show you in this video but improved a lot. There are different types of patterns, imperfection, softness effect and much more. So everything is already prepared for you. If you want to support me, you can check this product. Link in description. Now I'll group nodes that make up the pattern. In this system each color has unique angle for the pattern to mix properly. Because of that we have to use a mapping node and for every color set unique set angle rotation. Now I copy this group of nodes and the mapping node four times to get one of them for each color and then pack everything in the same way as the original. Let's set proper angle for each color. There are many options which angle use, but in this tutorial I will use 105 degrees for cyan, 75 degrees for magenta, 90 degrees for yellow and 45 degrees for black. Also plug the shader output into the node groups. By default, EV shadows are smooth, which is good for most scenes, but looks bad for this effect. 
For this reason, uncheck Smooth Shadow in the render tab. You can also set the cube size to the maximum value to get the sharpest shadow possible. Now, we have to combine all these colors. To do this, use Mix Color node and set it to Mix. In the Factory input, plug output of the group. It will define where will each color be. Color A will be in black areas and color B in white. With this setup, you can use any color to color in dots. Standard colors are cyan, magenta, yellow and black. But you can experiment also with other colors. But if you want to use standard colors, you will mix them quite easily. For each tone, you have to use always two RGB colors. For example, cyan is mixed with 100% of blue and green and 0% of red. To mix all colors, use Color Mix node and set it to darken. And since the background color is white, after mixing all colors together, it will just darken dots where they are overlaid. You can approach similar effect with Multiply setup in Color Mix node, but the result is not that realistic, because it tends to darken colors too much. The simple CMYK shader is now finished. But now it reflects just lights but not their colors. And you also can change material color, just brightness. That's because all four channels now use the same input. To control colors, you have to separate colors channels. To achieve this, you separate color node and plug color output into it. But there is still one problem. Digital programs work in RGB color space and printing works in CMYK we used for this shader. So we have to convert RGB into CMYK color space. Colors in CMYK are opposed to RGB. To convert them, we have to add value node to set it to 1. That's because color outputs give the value from 0 to 1. Then add math node and set it to subtract. Now just plug value node into first input socket and output from one of the color channels into the second socket. The way it works is that if the output color is red, for example, the output color is cyan. This means that if we use the value of 1, this represents a full color fail for the entire object. If we then append the red information and subtract it from this value, only the part without red remains. It means silent. Now repeat it for each color and pack each output into opposite color input. The difference will be in the black color, because it's mixed from the highest values of all RGB channels. For this reason, add mix color node, set it to lighten and mix all the channels together. This material is finished. Now you can see that the color changing final works. Now you can play around with the values and lighting as much as you want and adjust them as you like. This is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Have a nice day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.